Hi everyone, and in this video we're going to go over how to build a pop-up with using Elementor. Pop-ups can be a really good marketing tool to capture email addresses, promote sales, or bring attention to another part of your website. To start, what you want to do is, from your dashboard, you want to navigate down to this menu here, and you want to go down to the templates uh, menu section, and you want to go into pop-ups. From here, you'll see a list of all the pop-up menus that you currently have. To add a new one, you just want to click Add New up, up at the top here, or you can just click Add New to add your first pop-up. So you want to choose the template type. You want to make sure pop-up is selected and the name of your pop-up. So the name of the pop-up, obviously the customer won't see on the front end. It's just for you to understand which one it is um, on the back end, especially if you have, if you have lots of pop-ups. So name it something sort of friendly and easy for you to remember what that pop-up is for. So this is what your pop-up looks like initially. Um, you see the small uh, space here, essentially it's the size of your pop-up and you can change this as well. So to start to change the size of the pop-up, you want to go into the settings tab here and you can see the layout tab for your pop-up settings. And the first thing you can see is the width. So right now by default it's at six, 640 pixels, but you can uh, increase the width of that if you wanted to, or you can decrease the width of that if you wanted to and you can change the height. So for now it's fit to content, but what you can do is fit it to the screen. So have it top to bottom onto the screen, or you can do custom, so you can set a custom height as well. It's up to you how you want to position, that, how you want to do the width and height. And then you can content the position as well. So by default, the content position is at the top, but you can move it to the center or at the bottom. And same with the position with the horizontal and vertical positioning, you can change it to sort of left, right, um, in the middle of the screen or uh, top and bottom of the screen. And this is essentially the position of the actual layout of the actual pop up. Um, and then the last few things is the overlay. So this is this dark uh, screen that you can that you can see over here. You can choose to not have the overlay, so um, people will still be able to see the whatever page that they're on pretty clearly and you can decide or not whether or not if you want the close button um, which is up here um, or you can just toggle, toggle it close uh, there or not uh, you can give it an entrance animation and an exit animation so how the pop-up first enters the screen how it uh, exits the screen and general settings is just the name of the um, sort of the meta description of the pop-up so once you've done the layout correctly um what you need to know is actually just build the uh, pop-up so you can build it just like you would build any section in elementor you would just add a section and then you would add all of the information so you would add your headings um you can add any forms so if you were to go um here and just search for any widget that you want and um, they're all available within the elementor one and just uh, essentially add in all of the uh, information that you need on the pop-up and add them in one by one and then you can sort of start building your pop-up here. Um, Elementor also have a bunch of templates you can use so if you click into the template folder and you go into pop-ups um, and you can see some ready-made templates that they already have. Um, again so these templates all come free with Elementor Pro and you would just select whichever one you want, click insert and it'll insert all of the template sections over here with all of the settings as well. So you can see you've got the um, text over here and the little form and all of that. Um, and all you need to do then is if you're not happy with some of the colors, you can change the colors. If you're not happy with some of the text, you can change the text. You can add your own text, things like that. Once you're happy with uh, how the pop-up looks, all you want to do is go into publish. Um, and you'll see this is separated into three different sections, conditions, triggers, and advanced rules. So conditions is essentially where on is this pop-up meant to show. Um, so if this is a pop-up only for the home page, you want to click add condition and go into singular 
and select the home page. If it's a, a pop-up for the entire site, you just add the condition and then make sure include entire site is there. So this pop-up will show up on any uh, of the pages. And if it's for all of the pages except to one of the pages, um, so for example, if maybe except the home page, um, you want to make sure exclude is selected and then uh, you want to select exactly which page it is um, that you want to exclude it from. So it'll show on all the pages except the home page. Um, and you can also do the same if you want to include um, all the WooCommerce pages, things like that. So you can customize exactly where this is meant to go. This is a home page pop up. So I'm just going to make sure it only shows on the home page um, by selecting just the home page. Next thing then is the trigger. So what does the user have to do in order for the pop-up to open? So they, they have different options. So on page load. So as soon as the page loads within, uh, say, five seconds, that pop-up needs to go. Um, on scroll. So as soon as they scroll, scroll down 50%, the pop-up shows. Um, and you can toggle this if you want to, uh, say, if they really scroll all the way back up again, or if they scroll like 20% down the home page, will it show? On scroll to element, meaning uh, so to if if they scroll to a certain section on the website. With this one, you want to make sure that there is a class added to the section of the website first, and then you would type in the class name here. Next thing then is on click. So after they click on one or one thing on the home page, then they then the pop up shows. Uh, after inactivity, so if the uh, user hasn't. Uh, clicked on anything on the site in 30 seconds then this pop-up will show and then on page exit intent and this is the most popular one essentially whenever they move their cursor towards the X, uh, X page or to X out of the site the pop-up will show so as a sort of last minute attempt to kind of let them keep them on the site um, and things like that so this is usually the most popular one um, and then you want to go into advanced rules so this is requirements that have to be met for the pop-up to be open and you don't have to have these set up um, it's more uh, a night uh, another thing that you can add to make sure that the pop-up works exactly how you want it so they can show the pop-up only after they visited this page three times or after they've had two sessions on the page um, or show up a certain number of times after they open the site or after they close the site if they come from a specific URL, then it'll show the pop up. Um, and then you can sort of also uh, add more things. So show when arriving from search engines, show when arriving using external links, you show when arriving using internal links, and you can decide how many of these you want to include, or if you want to include none of them, you would just click no. Um, and then you can hide for logged in users. So if you are logging in manually, then maybe you wouldn't need to see all the pop ups. Um, so you can hide for uh, all the users and you can decide exactly which user role type they are, it's hidden for. You can hide on specific devices. If you don't want it to be shown on mobile or tablet, you can just X out of those and then have it only just show on desktop. And then you can show on specific browsers. So all browsers or you can decide which specific browsers it's meant to show on. And if you don't need any of these, then you would just um, set, have no set for all of these. These are just advanced rules that um, you can have in order for the pop-up to be met. So the way we have it now is that it'll only show on the home page and it'll only show on page exit intent. So you just want to uh, click next, save and close, and then that is your pop-up published. If we were to view that, so now I'm on my home page, if I were to go to exit it, uh, 